Hello everyone. I'm so excited to come and be with you all today. I'm sure the time that you're going to spend with me will be a useful one. I pray that you'll be encouraged and strengthened as you listen to me. Today I want to talk about saying yes. Saying yes. You know whenever we say yes, we are also choosing to say no at the same time when we are saying yes to happiness we are saying no to sadness when we are saying yes to light we are saying no to darkness when we are saying yes to being a son and a daughter of god we are saying no to slaves and sinners when we are saying i am righteous we are saying no to being a sinner so yes is a powerful word and that's what i want to talk about today i want to talk from the life of peter in luke chapter 5 we read about jesus preaching by the sea of galilee and as he goes there he sees these boats and the fisherman of that boat washing and cleaning the nets and Jesus walks in there he looks at them and he's telling them can you just push the boat a little inside so i can get into the boat and preach to the crowd that's gathered around me so Jesus is getting in there and he's preaching to the crowd and the interesting thing there is as soon as Jesus finishes preaching he looks at Peter and tells him row your boat to the deep and cast your net in there for a great catch who told jesus that peter didn't have a catch the previous night who told jesus that it was a night of failure for peter who told jesus that peter's disappointed who told jesus that peter's not happy i want you to know this regardless of what you go through in life whether anyone's understand you or not whether you express it or not my jesus is aware of what you're going through you don't need to tell him you don't need to shout to him you don't need to cry out to him even before you could do all of that i want you to know my jesus my savior my god whom i'm talking about today is aware of every emotion of yours every feelings that you go through every weaknesses that you go through every struggles in your mind he is aware of everything he knows everything He is so concerned about you. He is mindful of you. And that's when Peter looks at Jesus and tells him, "Master, you know, I toiled through the night. We tried very hard. We tried all the tricks of the trade, but we failed so miserably. Not even a single fish but then that's when peter chooses to say yes is looking at jesus and saying one translation says like this nevertheless at your word in another word he's saying but because you are saying i am saying yes is looking at Jesus and telling him you are saying so that's why i am saying yes you know i want to bring the dynamics of this yes here i want to connect this to what happened in the garden of eden so it will make more sense you know what it means to say yes i want to make sense to that what it means to say yes In the garden of eden 
when God walks in looking for Adam and Eve he doesn't find them he is hollering out saying Adam where are you Adam is responding saying God I'm afraid I'm hiding myself I am naked and you know the question that God asks Adam is this who told you you are naked who told you you are naked when God created Adam he didn't create Adam as a failure he didn't create Adam with the knowledge that he is naked Adam was created full of the awareness of the nature of God he didn't know what failure is he didn't know what it is to be in lack he didn't know what it is to be disappointed he didn't know what it is to not achieve his goal he didn't know what it is not to succeed you know what we go through what you go through in life before the fall Adam was not created with the awareness of that the fall gave him the awareness and suddenly because of the fall Adam is living with his awareness that he is naked who told him you know today God wants to put a no to what the world is dictating to you God is wanting to put a stop to what the circumstances is dictating to you that's exactly what Jesus was doing there with Peter throughout the night he was trying very hard he's trying every knowledge that he has he's trying every trick an experienced fisherman but failed miserably totally disappointed probably sad probably is prepping himself saying oh it's just one of those days probably tomorrow but Jesus walks in there saying who told you that you failed who told you that it is a disappointing night who told you that you didn't catch any fish you know if Jesus was standing before you you know what is the question he will ask you regardless of what you are going through how you feel how bad you feel how terribly you feel if Jesus has to ask you a question this is what he will ask you who told you you know for us our circumstances are saying many things it's screaming out loud many negative things it is screaming out loud saying you're not good enough you didn't try hard enough you are not qualified you are not worthy for it you are inadequate you know so many things probably the circumstances is screaming out to you probably your home situation is screaming out to you probably the situation in your workplace is screaming out to you so many negative things I will even go to the extent of saying the ones who are supposed to stand with you might have given up on you it is at the time Jesus steps in asking why do you have to believe what they say are you willing to say yes to Jesus because Jesus came to declare that you are not a failure 
Jesus came to declare that you are an overcomer. Jesus came to declare that you are righteous. Jesus came to declare that you are good. Jesus came to declare that you are a success. Are you willing to say yes? You know, saying yes to Jesus is this. When you refuse to accept what the world is dictating to you and you acknowledge what Jesus is declaring over you, that is saying yes to Jesus. Let me talk to you about you know Abraham and our righteousness you know for Abraham it is counted as righteousness but you know in Jesus you have become the righteousness Jesus has brought into you the nature of righteousness in another word your nature by default in nature you are righteous are you willing to accept that are you willing to acknowledge that we read in the Bible Luke chapter 5 Jesus is telling Peter go back just because you didn't have a catch doesn't mean you're a failure My common sense is saying it is over it's okay to fail but I want you to know it's okay to say yes to Jesus by which you are saying no to what the world is dictating to you on that same day sinking net breaking catch from the same place where he failed that means God is not gonna take you to heaven and make you a success he's gonna make you a success in this world he's gonna prosper you in this world you are going to see heaven on earth you are going to see the hand of God working on your behalf in this world. Are you willing to say yes to that? In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 19 and 20, Paul is writing like this saying, The Jesus whom I preached, that means Paul is saying, The Jesus I preached, Timothy preached, Silvanus preached, he is not a yes and an amen. He is always yes. And then he goes on to say, All the promises of God are yes in Christ Jesus. Let me talk about the promises. Why the promises? You know, promises signify the excitement of a person's heart. The goodness of a person's heart whenever there was a need when we go ask someone for help they promise you help because they're excited about you and they care for you they are concerned about you and they express it through a promise saying yes I will do it I will give you I will talk to someone on your behalf they promise you so here we read all the promises of God that means God is concerned about your condition about your situation about your need about what you're going through and he has spoken for it he's already spoken about it is already spoken for it you know one promise let me just say this you now we read like this many are the troubles of a righteous man but God will deliver him from all that's a promise he's saying 
Yes, there will be many troubles. It talks about your condition. But the reality of your condition is this. You will not struggle in the trouble that you're going through. You will not drown in the trouble that you're going through. It says, the promise is this. God will deliver you from all. You see, there is a condition, there is a lack. And God is speaking about it, saying, He is going to get involved. And He is going to do the God work. Amen. And here, Paul is writing, all the promises of God are yes in Christ Jesus. You see that? When you say yes to Jesus, you are acknowledging the hand of God working for you. You are allowing the hand of God working on your behalf. And when you say yes to God and His promises, through saying yes to Jesus, you are saying no to the world and its power. It is just so easy. It is so simple. I'm encouraging you. The choice is yours. You can either struggle by what the world talks to you, by what the world thinks about you, by what the world is dishing out to you. Or you can say no to it by saying yes to Jesus. In another word, by believing and acknowledging what Jesus came to establish for you. You know, the lady with the issue of blood, when she heard about Jesus, she didn't say, I might be healed. There is a possibility I will be healed. She thought in her mind like this, I will touch the hem of his garment and I will be healed. In another word, she said yes to Jesus. And by saying yes to Jesus, she refused the condition of a body from affecting her anymore. She said no to the issue of blood. It's a simple yes that can change the destiny of your life. You know, when Peter said yes to Jesus, he had a net breaking, ship sinking catch of fish. But he didn't stop there. When they all get out of the water. Jesus is looking at Peter and telling him, Come, follow me. I will make you fishers of men. That simple yes changed Peter's destiny. He became one of the greatest influencers of mankind. The first apostle. Look at this. And we are still talking about him. We are still preaching on him. We are still using him to learn. He lived so many centuries ago, but that simple yes changed his destiny. Today, the choice is yours. You can either struggle by what the world is dictating to you or oh, you can get out of all the troubles that this world is trying to thrust on you by saying Jesus I say yes to you you know Jesus before he could be crucified he makes a statement like this in this world you will have trouble Fear not, take heart, I have overcome the world. He's saying, this world, I have won against it. I won it, fear not, be bold. 
can you say that simple yes to Jesus and allow him to alter the destiny of your life your future generations you can leave a legacy and go you can leave a legacy and go can we just close our eyes and just say this small prayer saying Jesus it's a yes I'm proposing to you on behalf of Jesus will you accept his offer for him to get involved in your life and acknowledge what is declared over you so your life will be totally altered a total transformation can we all pray our gracious heavenly father thank you for this beautiful day that we could hear about your plans for us your design for us a simple yes can transform our lives our future our generations it can alter our destiny it can help us to leave a legacy behind father I pray you've heard every yes it has been uttered as they pray with me you will honor them you will get involved and let them see the effect of their saying yes from this very minute I pray that every heart and mind will be filled with peace with joy with hope will be birthed with excitement beyond their understanding we say a big yes to you take control of our lives in Jesus name Amen 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 thank you God bless you you will do well